Thank you. And proposed amendments to alcohol restrictions in public places by law. Um, I'll get Tim to introduce this one, please. Um, kia ora, Madam Chair, and uh, Maureen, everyone. Um, I'll take the report as read, and I'm more than happy to move it. Um, this journey started back in 2018 when Canterbury Rugby League um, made a, uh, a uh, application to the draft alcohol restrict restrictions in public places by law. So that's, that started way back in 2018. As you'll see in 4.3 of the report, um, Council um, in April 2019 brought in the um, temporary alcohol ban in the areas requested by Canterbury Rugby League. So our staff have worked hand in hand with Canterbury Rugby League with this um, outstanding initiative, I have to say. The most important part for me in this report is 4.4. Um, in September, following the um, Rugby League season in 2019, Canterbury Rugby League came back to us and told us what an absolute success this temporary alcohol ban had been for their clubs, their clubs members and those communities, uh, Tamariki and Makapuna, everybody involved with rugby league, it's been absolutely outstanding and I do have to commend our staff for working hand in hand with them. Um, keeping that in mind, the areas that have been included in this, m many of the crime related reports in almost all of them, alcohol has been a factor. Mm -hmm. So that is an absolute crucial thing to remember. The areas applied for in the temporary alcohol ban and wanted in the permanent ban by Canterbury Rugby League and our staff um, are not huge. They are the playing fields, the surrounds required to be supported by the clubs and their members, etc. But crucially, the car parks. Mm. And that is a real key area of this. And finally, um, um, the, keeping in mind that this is a report for a permanent alcohol ban, this will go out for public cons consultation. So that is a real key area to remember. And just as an aside, um, a few weeks ago, I know that we lost the world, uh, we got knocked out of the World Rugby World Cup by England. Just a few weeks ago in um, Orange Theory Stadium here in Christchurch, the Kiwis smashed Great Britain. So just, <laughs> just as an aside, just saying. So cheers. <laughs> Kia ora. Thanks, Tim. Um, have we got any questions uh, for staff on the paper? Okay, so Tim and the Mayor. Tim's probably done the debate. <laughs> uh, any further discussion on that? Anyone else? Anne. the positive impacts that this change has had on families and uh, participation. Also to the point of volunteering, you know, people are now feeling much safer in terms of getting involved in the game because they're not having to deal with people who've been drinking. So very good. And it's great to see uh, Rugby League leading, leading the way. Thank you for the work you've done. <coughs> That's great. No one else? Oh, Pauline. I'm just thinking perhaps the referees will welcome this as well. <laughs> I would think, yes. Okay, and with that, I'll put the motion. All in favour say aye. Aye. Any against? It's carried. Thank you.